After the Lakers defeated the Trailblazers on Wednesday, LeBron James concluded his press conference with a question for reporters. James wondered why he hadn't been asked about a photograph of Cowboys owner Jerry Jones. You can see it there on your screen. It shows Jones in a group of white boys blocking six black students attempting to enter North Little Rock High School, a desegregated school, when he had been asked about Kyrie Irving. The 1957 photo was a part of a Washington Post story titled Jerry Jones helped transform the NFL, except when it comes to race and includes an examination of Jones's failure to hire black coaches. Here's LeBron James. I was wondering why I haven't gotten a question from you guys about the Jerry Jones photo. But when the Kyrie thing was going on, you guys were quick to ask us questions about that. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I don't even want you guys to say nothing. When I watched Kyrie talk and he says, I know who I am, but I want to keep the same energy when we're talking about my people and the things that we've been through. And that Jerry Jones photo is one of those moments that our people, black people, have been through in America. And I feel like as a black man, as a black athlete, as someone with power and a platform, when we do something wrong or, or something that people don't agree with, it's on every single tabloid, every single news coverage, it's on the bottom ticker, it's asked about every single day. But it seems like to me that the whole Jerry Jones situation photo, and I know it was years and years ago and we all make mistakes, I get it, but it seemed like it's just been buried under like... Oh, it happened. Okay, we just we just move on. And I was just kind of disappointed that I haven't received that question from you guys. Appreciate it. That was LeBron last night. Richard, your reaction to this? Well, I, I think it's tough because I think some people, when they watch that, they don't understand, like, you know, you see a clips of, of LeBron James press conferences. But a lot of times for a player of his stature and his platform, he's asked about everything all the time. Did you see this? Or what were your thoughts on this? And even during he uh, the shop episode on Thursday Night Football that he has on Amazon, they asked him why he wasn't a, uh, a Cowboys, Cowboys fan anymore. And it was, you know, he, he said that he had... He didn't believe in Jerry Jones and some and the way he had handled some of the stuff during uh, the Kaepernick and the kneeling time. And that was that was a big moment because that that made uh, that was a lot of news that all of a sudden LeBron James said this and it was on an NFL broadcast for him to say these things. And then to have this Jerry Jones uh, picture come up just a, a, a week or so, two weeks later, he's asked about everything. So a lot of times he's prepared to like talk about these things. And then when he doesn't, he's probably surprised. And I, I, I think one, one thing that I, 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 I always remember, when Kyrie was going through his situation and there were so many things and so many people talked about, we talked about on this show, a lot, of th a lot of things that I were hearing is like, players were notably quiet. That's what we kept hearing. That's what I kept hearing. Players were notably quiet. And so while that, that might have been true, there also was a part where now players are listening and watching and they're recognizing who is notably quiet. And that's the part that I think he has issue with. You can talk about players being notably quiet, but let's also talk about who's notably quiet during these moments. Park? Yeah, and, and that's a great point because I want to add to that, right? So, I mean, the NFL is notably quiet right now, right? So you just think about the whole situation <laughs> in, in general. You don't hear guys like Tom Brady. You don't hear um, Aaron Rodgers. Hell, you don't even hear Bill Belichick speaking on the situation. Why not? Like, I understand where Braun is coming from, and I'm with him. He's right, right? Like, let's address it. Let's put it out there just like we would do any other athlete or the way that we did Kyrie Irving athlete. But if we go hold everybody accountable, let's hold everybody accountable because LeBron James is not only is not just the only iconic figure out there in the world that has a powerful voice that people listen to, that people uh, follow, that people look up to as a leader. So at the end of the day, I'm looking at the NFL and I'm looking at again Tom Brady, quiet, Aaron Rodgers, quiet, Bill Belichick, quiet. So it's a lot of accountability and a lot of finger pointing we could do all across the board, especially when it comes down to this situation. Vince? 
I keep, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Where's the lie? <laughs> what, it, what, 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 per, what he just said, what LeBron has said, what RJ has said, it's all true. And we have to figure these things out. And, and, and what LeBron is saying is like, you can't point the finger all the time when those three are pointing back at you. So sometimes we got to step up and ask those questions and hold everyone accountable, like, like Perk said. And now, what's next? That's for me. What happens now? What's next? In these moments, it's a reminder, right, that our industry, the news industry, the te television industry, it's predominantly white. And it's our job to check our biases, to examine our biases, and see how we can continue to be better in covering these stories. I, I would encourage everyone to check out the Washington Post's entire reporting, including the final essay by Jerry Brewer. It's, it's incredibly poignant. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.